Blue for any was a kilo in Shellena. Ah, I'm not your neighbor, I'm your husband. <laughs> All right, praise God. Yeah? No, I do not agree. I'm your husband. Uh, <laughs> praise God. <laughs> okay, neighbor, come now. <laughs> All right, praise. No, you say his neighbor you want. So. All right, glory to God. Please, can we celebrate the gift of Mrs. Yeah. Sophie Holland again? Wait, wait. Some of us are still wondering, are we, are we now in church? Yeah, yeah, we are still in church now. We are now. Please celebrate again with me the gift of Mrs. Sophie Holland. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Amen. So look for a neighbor and say, you are here for it today. Table will break. As you take the cook for Papa. <laughs> because, you see, well, don't allow me. We are still bringing the air from the apple. But let me, let me leave the air so it won't die first. But can you hold the hand of a neighbor? You see, what we are doing here is all spiritual. All. You don't understand. What you help me do to that neighbor is to assist that neighbor and the two of you will just pray in the next few minutes in the Holy Ghost. So if you have the tongue of, this, or of the Spirit, I think, just pray. Pray. Because what you are about to receive must sink in. So pray. Pray, friends. Pray. Pray. I still feel you can do better than what you are doing now. Pray. Pray, friends. Pray, pray, pray. You can still do better than what you are doing now. Para que mosa para mi nandesa. Oh, ba que so para mi non fenamica. Pray, pray, pray. You are not wasting your time. You may be sounding the same way, you are, but you are not saying the same thing. Something is happening to your spirit. You are positioning your spirit to receive. Parakati manakai. Embrando samanamaki mosikai. Om banaminande prako saparabadamanika mosukerish. Ira baba baba rada bana kapane kaseka. Brake so kende feni mana konsepa. Pray, pray, pray. Don't wait for in Jesus' name I will pray. Don't wait for in Jesus' name I will pray. In Jesus' name we pray. It's not prayer. You can be standing the same way, but you are not saying the same thing. Pray. Eka tosa na manda bradika tosa. For in Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Don't still allow the energy drop. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse fifteen. I've often said it. This is one of my top scripture. Proverbs thirteen, fifteen. It says, "Good understanding win favor." It says, "But the way of the unfaithful is hard." And I think KJV used the word transgressor. You say the way of a transgressor is hard. Now, how you will know that this is not talking about infidelity in marriage. This um, unfaithful. 
you know, to trespass, that is, to transgress is not the same thing as sin. Another word that you can use here is the way of a violator. Someone that violate. hope you know that somebody can, may violate the law of the land and still make a But the law of the land, we prosecute him. Most times they take it for persecution. They sound the same, they are not the same. You are persecuted only when you are doing the right thing. That is, you are being persecuted for Christ's sake. But if you break law, they will prosecute you. It's not the same thing as persecution. So this, the way of transgressor is hard. It means that good understanding will favor, but any person that does not have understanding will suffer. If you violate law, you will suffer. That's what he's saying. So you see, marriage, you can be very born again. A pious man. And, but if you're a transgressor, if you fail in the laws of marriage, it will be hard. Things will be hard. That's what that scripture is saying. If not, why would they be comparing understanding and sin? Is it even making sense? If truly it is sin. Because we are sin, but there. So if truly it is sin, how will you not say eh, understanding and sin? They are not the same. You can't, they are not even comparable. It's like comparing stone and water. One can be counted. And that one is, you can't count it. So here, in context, what the scripture is saying is not sinners. Is that a righteous person that does not have understanding in an area will suffer. You can be righteous and make heaven and be like Lazarus and still go to heaven and go and be in bosom of Abraham. So this other guy says, son, son, ah, you transgress as far as the most important thing is concerned. But when wet was concerned, you are not a transgressor. So you can be a Christian. I'm telling you the truth. That you are a Christian is already an advantage to you that your home should work. But if you are a transgressing Christian, I'm not the one that says the Bible says your way will be hard. So that's why often time I often said it. You see, the James, the James, the Willows, the Willows, the um, Pastor Kingsley PKPM, wherever name you call, see, if for any reason they digress from the things they are teaching, their homes will fail. That is what this scripture is saying. Good understanding win favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. I've often read this scripture, Psalm 119. You see, it's my scripture. Psalm 119, verse 144, amplify. You see, give me understanding and I shall live. Discernment and comprehension and I shall not die. I've said this rarely, I will say it again because I'm not afraid. There are three things a man needs. Number one is knowledge. Number two, understanding. Number three, wisdom. Knowledge is collection of information. Understanding is comprehension of collected information. Wisdom is application of comprehended, collected information. So the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 1, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 17, it says, and I keep praying that he give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. In thing. He said, the heights of my understanding being enlightened that I will know the hope to which you have called me, the riches of my glorious inheritance as a Christian. I need you to pray, friends. The Father, tonight, give me understanding and I shall live. Discernment and comprehension and I shall not die. You can do better than what you are doing now. Pray, friends. In tonight's meeting, understanding Wisdom. My way will not be hard. Good understanding will in favor. I have that good understanding today. In the name of Jesus. Give me understanding that I may live, uh, the sandment and comprehension that I may not die. Come on, open your mouth this evening and pray, 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 pray. pray, pray. 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 
Amen. I come to understand them. My you understanding is heightened. I come uh, to full understanding um, in the name of For Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, have uh, we pray. Amen. Father, I will thank you because you are about to bless our hearts once more. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus' mighty name, have uh, we pray. Amen. Can you go up with a shout of prayer? I did not say a say. I say a shout of prayer. And please, can you celebrate with me our own? <laughs> if for any reason, in the next world, if there's anything like that, you choose to be born in China. Before, I was planning to be born in Japan. But that trip will be too much. Before I come, another person might have seen you. So you don't understand. They will bring me close to your house. So in, in real sense, I'm your neighbor. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? Please celebrate with me, my beautiful wife. Thank you so much for all you do for her. Thank you so much. And the truth of the matter is, just as like I have often said, my wife is a satisfied relationship coach. I think at least you have nothing less than three certifications to herself. And I'm a satisfied preacher. <laughs> Glory to God. But since when two has become one, it's safe to say that I have like nothing less than four certificates while she has three. <laughs> Praise God. So again, celebrate my wife with me. And again, it's safe to say that from point one to the last one, she wrote this sermon notes that we are going to do tonight. Yeah. So we just sat down as a family, discussing. In fact, I don't used to concern myself with relationship workshop topic. I always used to be in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to download the work. I'm just to sit down and read to you guys. Abby. So thank you so much for all you do. I love you greatly. Please, let's be seated and let's... Please let me celebrate, Papa. Don't sit yet. Don't sit yet. Come on, let me celebrate the man of God. Is that how you celebrate him? Let me celebrate him. This man is the one that is helping me and letting me fly. Please, help me celebrate him. Help me celebrate him. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for being the push. Please, before we take our seat, I don't know why this is happening, but... Because of the peculiarity of tonight's topic, it is expedient that we take this prayer. I beg of you. I beg of you. I was thinking we will sit down too. But who am I? The Holy Spirit said we should take the prayer. Prayer we shall... Pray. Oh, you are not ready to pray? You want to play? You want to pray? Play? Pray? Play? Pray? And you are still sitting. Be on your feet. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 10, 4 and 5. KJV. It's not the usual relationship meeting you will go, you will laugh, you will hear punchlines and go back home. This one is a baptism. This one is a deliverance. You know that if you meet me, you have to be delivered. Everything is deliverance. But not your kind of... It's not doesn't mean that you have uh, demons. No, you don't need... Uh -uh. <laughs> no, it's not about being demonized or being possessed or something. Huh. Everybody needs deliverance. Mindset. You see that battlefield of the mind? That stronghold has to be broken. And we're going to pray just one prayer. Let's read together. Second Corinthians 10 verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not, are carnal, not carnal, but mighty through God, God to the pulling down, down of strongholds. Strong Let's pause. Because I know people go for relationship programs. And then, it's not as if people don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm telling you, everything we want to say today is not as if you don't know for yourself that, ah, this thing be like, say, but a lot of us have coconut head. 
<laughs> but as the Holy Spirit was telling me, he said coconut they break and even the water they sweet. Yeah. Uh, so we keep saying it. It is not faith doesn't come by having heart. It doesn't come once. It comes by hearing and by hearing. Yeah. And I partner together with my husband and with the Holy Spirit today that what you have been hearing today will be your deliverance. Amen. Today will be your deliverance. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Verse 5. Then we'll pray. Casting down imaginations. We are reading together. Casting down uh, imaginations, imaginations and, and every high thing that exalts itself, itself against, against the knowledge, knowledge of God and bringing into down into captivity, captivity thoughts to the obedience of, of Christ. Christ. Can we just go ahead and bust in tongues if you have the language of the spirit? Breaking down every imagination, breaking down every stronghold that may want to exalt themselves against the knowledge of Christ tonight. Don't look at me, just pray. Pray, pray, pray. Do you have any ideology, any mindset, any adumbration that may want to exalt themselves against the knowledge of Christ tonight? They will break down in the name of Jesus. They are brought down. They are brought down. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bring them into captivity, every thought into the obedience of Christ, in the name of Jesus, whatsoever, whatsoever you have heard, whatsoever you have known, whatsoever you have lived, that is against the knowledge of Christ, today they bow. To take the power, to take the approach into captivity in the name of Jesus. 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 In the Thank you, Father. We give you glory. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. God glory in the midst God. of us is mighty. So can you go up with a shout of glory? Glory. Come on, go up with a shout of glory. Glory. Because I've been sharing gifts, Pastor Somi, that shawama, let it go around. I know. I know. Somebody just wait on me now. You know, <laughs> you just you like just swallow your saliva now. The Lord is your strength in Jesus' name. Amen. I celebrate you. There's shawarma of the spirit in this place. Celebrate yourself and have your say. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight is that night. And I love the fact that it's happening. Church. Church boys, church girls, go with a shout of praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. He led me on. Hmm. He led me on. And do you know something that um, Minister Sofiola said when she was doing her spoken word? Said, you are led on. The reason why you are led on is because you are following. If they are leading and you know follow, nobody they lead anybody on. I love that. I love that. Please let me celebrate the gift that is Minister Sophia Land once again. Mm -hmm. We'll celebrate you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you Thank so, so you, much. Ma. Please have your say. So it is not only brothers that can lead on or that do lead on. Even ladies too. We do that a lot. True. We do that a lot. So before we go to our anchor scripture, we're going to be very fast tonight so we can answer questions. I want to share my story. Hmm. If you have, okay, before then, if you have ever been led on or you have led somebody on before, please just raise your hand like this. Yes, it, me too, me too. I'm here. No, mm. it's, I'm not encouraging you. I'm, I'm answering myself. Yes, I've led on before. I've, I've, no, I've not been led on, but I've led people on before. People, I didn't say even one. Raise it very well now, you should be proud. Hey, achievement. You should be proud. <laughs> if you have ever led on, there is a peace too for you. Mm. If, if you have, you have ever on. been led on, I have a big hug for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it can be painful. So let me share my story. Mm. Sir, you will share your own too because <laughs> I think he has experienced it too. Yes. Um, I didn't notice the pattern. For people that know, I'm the only lady, only girl child that my mom gave us. So growing up, I grew up 
with guys. I think at the time we had about 10, but my mom gave birth to two. Two guys. But living, growing up, I think I had about 10, if I'm not incorrect. You are not. I'm not. <laughs> Were you there? <laughs> I'm there now. So, um, that could be a tendency, but I didn't come to a realization that this was a pattern until I got to Quara State Polytechnic. I was in Quara State Polytechnic before going to Unilore. Wow. I just, babe, it's not, it's not in news. <laughs> they did not know now. How many of you knew? Oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. So, in um, Quara Poly, I just discovered that any guy that comes, I, I'm loving. I was raised in love. True. Like raised in love. I have so much love that if you spend five minutes of your time with me, I will so finish you with love. If I can say I love you, in five minutes, I can say I love you ten times. True. Yes. Uh, if you know already, you should clap very well. <laughs> so, I think perhaps that was misunderstood. Because there in Kwarapoli, anybody I get close to, uh, 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 I'm just thinking for them. Beli Obaje, Yaweni, Adeje. So I just discovered that maybe after three months of constant conversation with this person, they would just say, hey, how are you? Can you, can you talk to my mommy? I, I, like, I hear that a lot. Can you speak with my mommy? Can you speak with my sleep siblings? Can you? Like, hmm. I, don't, I don't understand it. So the pattern keep going like that. I think I have about four cases. I don't want to mention them. I have about four cases in, maybe you're hearing it for the first time, four cases in Karapoli. I'm watching. Then I left, <laughs> I left Karapoli. I went to do my IT in Port Harcourt. The same thing happened in my workplace. And in my own heart of heart, I'm just being loving. I'm just being friendly. That's pattern one in Karapoli, pattern two. Then I did direct entry. Went to University of Illori. The same thing happened. Mm. I think, how many cases? Wow. <laughs> Maybe about five. I, I didn't I've know. never led anyone. With this story, you are a lord. <laughs> maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. So it was later that I now had to sit down. In all this situation, I am the constant. All of them were the variables. Hmm. But that so nothing could be wrong with the variable. It is the constant. Yeah. I said there is something that is wrong with me. So if you are here now, is they are the one that they are, is, they are misunderstanding what I'm saying. They are, no, you are the problem. Hmm. You are no, don't no, let me say problem. You are the challenge, you are the issue. Yeah. So I have to sit there and say, okay, what is wrong? What is wrong? Is it that because I say I love you, you, you don't they co uh -uh, come to meet my mommy when uh, mommy, uh, you know that kind of greeting that is not normal. It's like yeah, yeah what kind of greeting? I'm like, ah, what, like what? What's but wrong like here? So you understand? I have to sit down and say that, okay. This is this is a pattern. So I am the one with the issue. So I had to, I will tell you what I did in course of the, the teaching. teaching. Hallelujah. Are you uh, getting blessed or blessed? Blessed. So I have led on and I do not take the credit. It's not like a badge you should wear. No, no. It's not nice. You are toiling with people's emotions. The signals you are given is like, okay, ah, oh, yeah, I think she's she is an end day to they are already imagining a kind of family. A future with you, it's not right. And if you have ever been led on, I give the warmest talk again. Just catch it. Mm. Mm. Sharing what is not. Sorry. Is sorry. Not sorry. So let's go. Let's go to our anchor scripture. Okay. Give me First Timothy 5 2. So it is not only what the, the fact that you are saying he led me on. Please just let me put S then slash there. She -E. So she he led me on. She. Can we call that? Eh? She he led me on. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. First Timothy 5 2. You will give me in NIV, you will give me in NLT, and you will give me in Living Bible. Okay. I will go. Let's do NIV first. NIV. No, from verse NLT. 1, please. So we can understand. From verse 1 for uh, NIV, then the other translations, verse 2. This is our anchor scripture. Do not rebook an older man, Ashley. But exalt him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers. Mm. Two, older women as mothers. And younger women as sisters, sisters with absolute purity. 
Thank you. Let me go to NLT. Verse 2 in NLT. Just one and two. Verse 2 in NLT. Verse 2. Verse 2 in NLT. Ver okay. Treat the older women as you would your mother. And treat the younger women with all purity as your own sisters. sisters. Now let's the living Bible. The living Bible. Yeah. Living Bible, thank you. Treat the older women as mothers and the girls as your sisters. Thinking, everybody, let's go. Thinking only pure thoughts about, about them. them. And when the Holy Spirit pointed me to this particular scripture, I said, for this to be written in the time of Timothy, it's possible that something like this was prevalent at the time. True. Yes. Like this leading on and on and on. Like it's somehow like there is every tendency that people are, they, they are not getting it. So he said, okay, if you must treat any younger woman, treat them like what? Like your sister. So I wrote something here. Perhaps something like this happened in the time of Timothy, ends the verse of that scripture. So it means that their tendency is to go overboard. Mm. Their tendency is to go overboard. Tendency to show care and yet be careless in boundaries. Mm. Because, let's bring you to church. Please read it again, ma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it means that there are tendencies. The reason for this scripture. Yeah. It means that there are tendencies to go overboard with our emotions. Yeah. Tendency to show care just because we are brothers in church. Yeah. Tendency to show care. I love you. Uh, the love of Christ constrains us. Uh, uh, the Romans 5.5. 5, the love of God has been shared abroad in my... Yes, there is every tendency to show that care towards brothers, towards sisters, and even to the opposite sex. Yeah. But there is every tendency as well to be uh, careless yeah, with boundaries. True. Very. I see it so much in church. We are so loose. Yeah. We are so loose. It doesn't really. I is it not brotherly love? She's my sister. What the scripture say? If you treat your sister, thinking only pure thoughts about them. Yeah. Amen. 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 So and though we are one in Christ and our brethren, we still have our almost intact, which make us vulnerable in a way. True. When you give your life to Christ, it is your spirit that God regenerated. Yeah. It's, but it's your soul so is still saving. there. Yeah. Your soul needs saving. Yeah. Constant saving. True. But I've come. The reason why I'm so happy that he's in church. I'm so happy that he's in church. Church boys, church girls, we are so just. We're just so so lackadaisical about this thing. Like, ah, yeah. uh -uh, she be his sister Dami. I, uh -uh, nothing, mm. nothing. Now I have not the mind of Christ. Happen. Nothing can happen. I know who I am. Mm. I have the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Really? <laughs> You have the Holy Spirit. You also have the soul spirit. Yeah. If there is anything like that. You have I'll be soul. holy soul. Holy spirit and holy soul. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen. So I wrote here. I said, he or she leading somebody on is often a phrase. Like he led me on or she led me on. is often a phrase or a statement made by someone who just reeled out of the aftermath of a confusing relationship. relationship. Ah, he led me on. Anytime you hear that, no, no, this person is just coming out freshly from something that they, they, they do not even think could happen. Something confusing. Amen, amen. amen. So where he or she has invested time, energy, resources, in worst case, his body. Hmm. And the other partner doesn't have the same genuine intention, neither reciprocate it. So a situation where someone has been deceived, still talking about he leading on or she leading on. So it's a situation where someone has been deceived, whether intentionally or unintentionally. And I want to emphasize on this intentionally and unintentionally. Anybody that leads anybody on intentionally is not even a Christian. The person is a jacuzzi, is a yeah. jigono, is a <laughs> yejo. But let's bring the unintentional part. Yeah. We do this a lot. Mm. I don't know that I'm doing it. This is the one that is happening. Yeah. I, I just told you that I'm just acting friendly. I never knew. Yeah. This is where me too I fall. 
Unintentional. I don't like I don't understand. Yeah. Is it is it wrong to love you? Is it wrong to call you? But there is a kind of call, is your normal normal? There is a kind of acceptable behavior, yeah. even in church. Especially towards opposite sex. Yes, sir. Yeah. Even in church, there's an acceptable be if you're normal, normal. We come to Riaza. It is only sister, no, let me. It is only brother Tife or sister, oh, because I know that it was strike keys for me then. They say, well, you know, we enter my kidney, if kidney is here, whatever. We, <laughs> enter, we enter my kidney, then I will sing well. But there is a kind of special attention I give to him alone hmm. that I don't give to others. Your normal is not normal. True. Yeah, and you are not yeah, in a relationship. Yeah. I'm not saying you are in a relationship that is open to everyone. True. If this is your case, you are leading on or you are being led, led on. on. So let me just finish that part. We said unintentional. The one that happened in churches, the one we do unintentionally. And that is why we are here to learn. Yeah. So to think a romantic relationship is possible. The one that is being led on, think a romantic relationship is possible. Perhaps the victim was confused by the mixed signals. signals true. By the mixed signals. Amen, amen, amen. If you are sitting comfortably on this table, just try. You may try to change seats because that one that you are sitting on can break. The Lord is your strength. Amen, amen. amen. Do we lay a solid foundation for this even before we ride on as Papa takes over? Please let me celebrate him. Wow. I think my wife did better than what you are clapping on. I think you can do better than that. Thank you so much, ma. Yes, I've been blessed, especially by your testimony. <laughs> <laughs> but that was an amazing foundation. All right, just like she, she said, I don't think they, they I don't think, any person that I think is leading me home is wasting time. I'm telling you, that is me. And I will not even marry the person. Yeah, yeah that is me. If you think, God, the person is wasting a lot of time. But I have unintentionally, thank God she laid the foundation. Because before I say I lead people on, you people will not know it as unintentionally. Unintentionally, I've, I've, I've led people on. So I'm a lead. Okay. Is it sisters? Yes, sisters. I've led. Uh, wait, is that sisters that you said? Oh? You are the one that have the track record. My own, maybe his sister. No. No, I don't think they are sisters. No. Sorry, is it now something? Yeah. Hmm. And even if we can't, can't go up to five now. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you see, track record now. All right, so that is just an inner joke. But look at this. The reason why we pick this topic is this topic, and we are discussing it now, is because severally we have seen sisters, especially. You know, brother, let me tell you guys, sisters, brothers have jinkuzi kind of hearts. You see, if you for any reason see a brother crying over a relationship, his name is John. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Is there, do we have, let's try it. Is there any John here? Any person be any John? He said, they won't come. <laughs> it's a joke, oh, in case you're online. It's not, yeah, I will log out. It's a joke, oh, I'm just joking, oh, but I'm serious. I'm serious because I was thinking to be me. Is be me the movie, bro? John, bro, John, be me, eh? But if you are also like that, I don't mind. I'm talking to you too. So. so brothers, naturally, brothers and sisters are not wired the same way. I I just need you to know that first. You see, attention to a brother might be with purity, just like we have read in First Timothy chapter five, verse two, to a brother and sincerely. You'll be hearing the brother say, hey, you, ah, later on, you, you see, premium tell, just cry early. You know, just do the cry early. Go and ask that brother that you thought that he has asked you out by showing you attention. Ask him, what are we doing? And he will show you this scripture. You think he's a prophet? You say you're like a sister to me now. What is it? Aburu, aburu, molu, jesi, ah, you are, 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 You, you wash clothes. You polish shoe. He doesn't, he doesn't like normal tie. You, you went to learn the other one. You, you, you say, Pastor, sir, your, your tie, your clothes, is, I don't like you stressing yourself. You say, ah, 
you're a good sister. And like the line she said, that eh, you'll be a good wife. Are you also the husband? You'll be a good husband to, to be a good wife to who? Let's be clear. Because most times, you see, in church, easy, let me help you guys. See, there are Jinkuzi that are listening to all this message too. You see, there are people that go and read book to leverage on your emotions. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you think dogs can be trained? It's because they, they tamper with those dogs' emotions. Sometimes they don't feed those things. So they are very angry at anything that comes at the gate. And that's why you'll be surprised that the dog, they say, man, sorry, man, sorry. You two did not run because the dog just finished eating. The second day, they say, man, sorry, and the dog was still coming. Man, sorry, the dog was still coming. It means that that dog has been trained that now I'm hungry. You see, you, I'm going to deal with you. And like I used to say, when it comes to dogs, in our house, all our pets, they like me. But my brother, they don't like him. My other brother. Why? Because he used to flog them. Yes, I'm telling you. Any, leave here, you just by words, so, leave here, leave here. So anytime the dog sees him naturally, they will be running, even without him saying anything. But for me, even if they smell me from UK, they will start boiling their tail, like at home. They will start doing like this, that like this. Because they are also emotional feelers. Dogs, dogs know that you love them. They also know you hate them. If they see you, you won't even say anything, they will run. Why? Because, listen to me, to a fallen man, that guy is a living soul. He's not a life-giving spirit. Mm, just calm down and wait. I will say it again. When man died in the Garden of Eden, what left was his spirit. His soul was still there. And it's the soul that stores knowledge. So the tree he ate was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But by the time man jumped to Genesis 6, man was only left with evil. The Bible says that the inclination of his heart was only evil continuously because he could not reach his hand to touch from that tree of life and still have knowledge for good. So let me help you. A fallen man also has knowledge. He can leverage on those knowledge to play with your emotions. Hope you know that there are jinkuzi books that you can read to master human beings, human psychology. You can literally read human psychology and deal with human beings. These guys, they read this. Now, they know you're a church person. They have told you that if, the, if he has this, if he has that, if he has this, if he has that, if he has this, if he has that, and he will have it. By the time you meet him, you say, I don't like it when you wear your jeans. Yeah, we'll remove it. You say, thank you. Then he said that if he's showing interest to change, he's showing signal. So this guy, he also attend relationship workshop meetings. <laughs> what they are saying to him, he will not hear it. It's what they are saying to the females, he will hear. To go and leverage and do jinkuzi work. So for me, unintentionally, like my wife said, I led plenty sisters on. And I did not know. So much so that one of them, when she wanted to enter a relationship, she called me. Because she thought that I was a lady, she was a lady. Yeah. So she called me. and was like, I want to enter a relationship. I said, that is very good. You need it. So she was almost surprised. Ah, what is this? Ah, what have we been doing all this while? It was sister's care. I'm telling you the truth. Sister's care with... To go. Uh -huh. extra to go. Cool. You understand? Extra cool. Extra extra cool. To All fight. the attention. You understand? If there is issue in their family, prayer warrior. I will not pray at home. I will go to their house to pray. Yes. No, I'm the one telling you. Are you that? So I was a jinkuzi. Yes, so. Unintentionally. Don't forget that. <laughs> Unintentionally. I did not know a lot. You don't know, see. I think it's one of the things that happen when you give your life to Christ. That love, you just want to show it. Ah, I love God. And then you are showing it to all other brethren. Yes. Because Papa ah. was on fire for God. Ah, which part? Ah, the part they understood. <laughs> love the more, love the more. So, do, do you get it? <laughs> now, the reason why we are sharing some of these our stories is so that it can help you. It can help you. I just thank God that I found Pastor Bayo who told me early in life. Because a time came, self. I was so close to one sister that Pastor Bayo, any of you, you know Pastor Bayo, 
Pastor Barry once asked me, you see, he doesn't ask me that kind of question. He said, where is your girlfriend? And now, Pastor Barry is naturally somebody that, that will tell everything. I have not told him I was in the relationship. He concluded. Yes, that was how, yeah, that was how close we are. Say, yeah, so. that was how close we are. Where is your girlfriend? I was shocked and confused <laughs> at the same time. I wanted to say, which girlfriend? Like, uh, who is that? I don't know. I was not aware. But he was talking and he was pointing to that sister. You know, there is no, they will not call the person's name. But you will know that that is the person they are making reference to. Ah, that is when he down on me. Like, ah, I'm a Lidio. I have really given her a Lydia. So there are plenty of attention. There are plenty of whatever I was giving to this. And now I know better. Ah, no, I know better. So when I see somebody that is, that is trailing my jinkuzi pathway, and I'm cautioning them, and they're saying, no, no, okay, no problem. We were together when you receive a call. You, as a lady, you are standing. You, you, as a lady, you are standing like Yokozuna. <laughs> Not until another call came in. All of a sudden, you became like a baby. Hello. <laughs> and hope you know the way you are doing. It will show your reaction. All of us are looking at you. You are the only one not looking at yourself. Thing is a feedback. We are seeing it. You are not seeing it. Your brain, you have removed the brain. You are, this thing is going. Absolutely. This thing can be seen. It can be seen. We are seeing the way you are reacting. Anytime we mention the brother, on naturally, your, your sense of, your nerves, your muscles of, of smile will just trigger. And we are seeing it. Even now that you are, you say you are hungry, we just mentioned your brother, he became an antidote. Even now, as you are talking, they are still making that kind yeah, of... You are, still still remembering, at, at you are still remembering the brother, yeah. and by yourself, you are just laughing. I'm telling you. <laughs> and do, do you know the reason why we are saying this? Because it's a pattern. It's a trajectory. It's a track record. You cannot come and surprise us. Yeah. At least they gave back to us, if I'm not mistaken, maybe a few persons. They gave back to us before you. True. We have told this part. We ah, know. At the low. You know, we are still low. You are not want to use it. You are not telling us it's not like that. What is not like that? We are now your eyes because your love is now blind. You are now blind. So yeah. we have become your eyes. Yeah. You see, people can hide plenty of things. How many of you have elder sisters? Elder sisters growing up. And then you, you don't know anything about relationship, but you shall know something about love. That the way this my sister is doing. <laughs> the way she is doing, anytime this brother come around. Because you know most times when they are discussing those things, they won't allow you to know. You shall be seeing the brother, and then your sister is he cleaning the house. I had three sisters, three, three other sisters. When that particular guy, boy, boy is coming, there's a way they are serious. <laughs> and I am telling you, if mommy said that, whatever they couldn't want to do it, so that mommy will not change her mind. Oh no, till the brother has gone, and then you, then the narrative will not change. That's when we are not suspect that other way there is something. There's something that is happening. This, especially this is one that has come. Yeah, this particular, this particular one. one. Anytime it's coming, ha, all of us used to eat chicken in this house. Free. If, even with his leg. At least, if we the leg. <laughs> so, are we getting this? Yeah. So, we are not saying something that, that we have no experience. You know, let me help you. Especially if towards the opposite says, you will see it. It will happen. If you are being led on, or you are a leader, you need to listen to this thing twice. To avoid premium tears and going from a from a from a from a one therapy session to another because hope you know the longer the years, the more the effects. Yeah. So you see, listen to this one we are saying now fast. Let's be even under level or two hundred level. There are junkuzis, junkuzis. Yeah. See, don't just like she said that you are showing. And then you are careless with boundaries. People respect people with boundaries. Yeah. They respect people with boundaries. I think yeah. I've, we have established that in love, right? Yes, All right. So please follow me through now. Let me give quickly run through um, reasons, five reasons, five reasons why you may be you may be led on, and why people lead others on. 
five. Number one, your desire to be loved and wanted. It can cause you to be laid on. Your desire to be loved and wanted. At least Nigerian movie have, have shown a lot of that. You know, when somebody desires to be loved and wanted. So that way, the person is investing a lot into an, a, 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 a pure thought kind of relationship. The person is thinking that there is green light. There is whatever light. Especially when there is pressure, peer pressure too. Peer pressure from your, all your roommates and relationship except you. And you do not know their ship is on a situation. There's nothing bad in being, in, in being alone. Don't just be lonely. Yeah, there's nothing bad there. So, although we are born again, it's our spirit that gets transformed. There is a part of us that has the emotions. That is the soul. If you read James, James chapter 1 verse 21, KJV. James 1 21, KJV. James 1 21. The Bible showed us that the soul can be saved. It says saving the soul, which is able to save your soul. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12, any translation is okay. He said, working out your own salvation with trembling. So what it means is that there is a part of your salvation you will work on. It's, it is your soul. Now, the soul has five components. I've often said it before. The human soul has five components. Number one is the human will. You see, your will, your trying to decide things, is, is resident in your soul. Number two is your feelings and emotions. So that's why we say when you give your life to Christ, God did not tamper with your feelings. Oh. He did not tamper with your emotions. No, what God said was your spirit. Your spirit was just reintroduced back into you as a baby. And that's why 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, the Bible says, as newborn babes, desire the sincere make of the world that you will grow thereby. It's not talking about you. You can't be born like a baby. It means your spirit needs to be fed again to, to grow. Are we on the same page? So we have the will, the emotion and feeling. We have the intellect. We have memories and we have imagination. So for the purpose of this, your, your emotion or feelings is in the soulish level. Yes, so when you give your life to Christ, you can still love a brother. Yes, Except that now, there is a spirit inside of you that can be saying, my brother, my brother, keep quiet, calm down, calm down, they know they do like this. So, and then something about your soul is that if your soul is old enough, is old. You know, some of you gave your life to Christ when you were 15. So you have lived with your soul for 15 years. And then you just give your life to Christ now. So you're, you're li you're, you are not even up to three months of his spirit. But something can happen to your spirit that can hijack the whole body. And that is what the Bible says in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. It says, sanctify them all and whole spirit, soul, and body. Some of you, you don't engage your spirit in anything. So your spirit, your soul can be saved. Your soul can be saved. Your soul can be saved. So you work on that. Do we get that? So everyone, everyone like the feeling of being, everyone like the feeling of being loved, even if they don't reciprocate the love. That is when people are not reciprocating, even when you don't reciprocate the love, you like the feeling. So the brother that is leading you on likes the feeling that, ah, there is a lady I can always call to cook for me. You know, let me help you guys. Let me help you guys. Please listen to me. A lady, lady, see, price of food has increased now. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm very serious. Price of food has increased now. This one that he will, is the one that will choose, he will choose the recipe. You say, you, 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 hello, uh, I, I'm stressed from prayer. You know, you know the way I like my endomie. He say, yes. Then he, you come, you forgot one ingredient. Say, we come up with things this now. I told you I've been you praying. Praying for who? Begging, I'm sorry now. What are we doing in this thing? You, you are getting lean. Prayo is getting fat. So all this thing may sound funny, but let me help you. When we say boundary, we do not now say it should be me and wicked. You say, thank God I attend this meeting. Then you now list all the brother, brother Jude, brother John, don't be so we can cook. Whether the one I supply or the one you supply, no cooking. No, that's not what we are saying. It's just that you and I know when boundaries are being breached. Yeah, you know. You see, uh, yes, you know when this thing is doing you totally, you totally, you know, it's doing like this, doing like, and the story, know they smile though. Because one thing that can save you early 
is that you have mentors that you are vulnerable to. They have been there. All this thing you are doing, I are doing like this, I can't sleep. You have to hang your leg. No, you're not a witch. You sleep. <laughs> this thing is your brain that is going. You know when boundaries. So, but there is no human being that does not enjoy the feeling of love. Now, back to the brothers. How you will know that your thing, that thing I've started living unintentional to, inten- to intentional is that you are now in this meeting. You are hearing us. Yes. It can't be unintentional again. Because most times when brothers are benefiting for something, from something, and especially their mind, you see brother's mind is like stone. You will be surprised that a brother can leave one relationship now and before he left the relationship, it was another one two years ago. So you just want to pick that one and dust his fire. Why are you at this point to make your heart in two years? You just dust his fire, present his CV and continue. So brothers can eat quickly except brother John. Yeah, brothers can move yeah. fast. Yeah. They can move fast. You know, because their orientation is different. Brothers are work-oriented. If you can give him work, he will not remember you. Yeah. I'm telling you, just give him work. Let him be yeah. productive. Let him keep making his money. Yeah. Oh! Because nobody will more pressure on him. In fact, the higher he work, the higher his chances. Sisters will lead him on. Yeah. But because of the scriptural pattern... And the society pattern or societal pattern is not right for a sister to, by one way or another, whether by wisdom or by foolishness, lead a brother on. It's going to end in premium tears. Especially because he did not choose you, you chose him. He can always come back to say, Maybe you are the one dancing. Why are you not the one dancing, my friend? Why well, that's the one that messaged you first? <laughs> you did not see my life before you say you want to marry me. Did you make your findings and all? Do we get that? So every person has feelings and no one will despise the feeling of being loved even when they don't reciprocate it. Yeah. Every, if they check your chat, if they check your chat on WhatsApp, you are the one using all the love emoji. You have even generated on that one. And the brother will keep saying all is well. <laughs> all is well is no response to I love you. Yeah. So you, you are taking that all is well for, 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 from a, okay, he says a brother, he likes saying all is well a lot. Wow. Even if you say I love you, it's not a validation for a relationship. True. <laughs> Don't be shocked. True. I, I love, love you, too, you. I miss you. It, I, they will use and then you put it in not quotes. A validation I love you too. In quotes. So when you say, what do you mean by that? I say, with the love of Christ. Are we on the same page? Are we getting blessed or blessed? So ladies especially, please listen to this twice. One major reason why, why someone may lead another person on is because most times people want the benefit of attention Without the commitment. Yeah, they want their benefit of attention without the commitment. And Christian brothers in their naivety are comfortably sitting on this table. Which I was before too. I was before. It's somewhat safer that is even happening in church. Because the love of Christ constrains us all. Abby? And then it can be addressed as, and then it can be addressed through the lens of scripture. But in the circular world, people tend to take advantage of it to hurt others. That's the number one. Desire to be loved and wanted. Number two, lack of emotional maturity. People mature emotionally. You see, when you are younger, you see, when you are younger, when people offend you, you will keep malice. The higher the you are growing, the more you say that this one is not even worth keeping malice with. Ah, why well, would like you? You are not even worth keeping malice with. Me, keep malice. I won't. So there is emotional maturity. People are not mature enough. On that level, don't enter a relationship. You see, why is that? Hmm. Hey, God. You see, don't. You see, every other thing is, every other thing is good. But it's not even all experiences that are worth it. And I have said this severally. Whether or not, whether or not you like it, your life is going to be a lesson to people. It's just from which angle. Yeah. Is John Rich. I hope you know that it was Jesus himself that said, remember lost wife. That was not a good remembrance. So that no, people will not say, hey, remember John. And what he want is a full scripture. In fact, there is scripture, there is point, everything, just remember John. By the time they look at your life, they say, hey, I will never try this. I have remember John. So your life can be a testament of, of correction to people. Just mentioning your name. Please don't choose that part. So, 
emotionally we grow, we can mature emotionally. When you're not ready, you don't even know what emotion is you are entering. Are we on the same page? Don't allow people to toy with your, with your emotion. So, lack of emotional maturity can cause, um, is one of the reasons why people lead others on or have been led. Are we on the same page? Now, number three is a bent, a bed in hand syndrome. A lot of people around them just want to while away time. More like, you are not my speck, but let me keep you around till my speck shows up until you become a peck. You know, this, let me help you. I think we did a teaching sometimes back last year, right? I can't remember if it was last year. Maybe this year. No, I think it's last year. Um, causes of marital delay. What, last, yes. this year? Yes. Okay, I think around March. Yes, causes of marital delay. One of the things we point to is that there are people around you that are not in a relationship with you, but people outside think you are in a relationship. And please, you see, you see, God will forgive you is a constant. But God cannot choose who you offend that will also forgive you. You see, people have done into too many relationships that even when God is saying that this other person is the person to marry, you have already dated with track record of nonsense your husband's to be's younger brother. And then you say, ah, NRT, NRT, BC, BC, most of them, BC, BC, ah, oh my, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low. Talk to you in Jesus' name. Then the brother did not add a face to it. Later on, he now got to meet BC and say, ah, it's BC. And then your story is already there. Except God touched that brother's heart. And that's why I said, God will forgive is a constant. But we hope you know you are not living with God. You are living with humans. Don't have track record of nonsense. Don't pray of the consequences. Yeah, the that God has forgiven you plenty. doesn't mean the consequence is not there. So don't go and share your body, your whatever, your life, your whatever track record. And the irony is that you will still be having health. Why? Because when you are supposed to read, you are thinking of who to join you to go and beg John. He said, John, me, me, he be me, he be me, he be John. To my family, I'm only fellow. My love, boss, I'm you. My love, boss, I'm you. It means that you just reduce your life to, for someone that is not worth it. No, you are that valuable. Please tell yourself I'm valuable. I'm valuable. So, a bed in hand syndrome, don't use that. That is not my spec, but let me keep him around. So that they will not say that I am not in class. Let me keep him around till my spec come around. My brother, you are, my sister, you are sending your spec away. Because they keep seeing you. They imagine that you are in a relationship. Imagine that you are in a relationship with the brother. He says, let's do like the James. You are winning and cool. No, no, no. No, don't do that to yourself. There is no point being in a reserved bench for a time waster. There's no point being in a reserve bench for a time waster. This guy is obviously wasting your time. And I say you keep him around till your spec come. Until your spec went to spec with another spec. And then they now appoint you to be the chief bridemaid or whatever it is. You're not crying. You're not saying, oh yeah. You come around and say, we are kiss her, kiss her. And then you are running away. Why? Because you feel like that is your husband. No. Don't keep specking around. Are we on the same page? Around people that are not your spec. So there is someone who is for you and who won't keep you on reserve bench. Please. That won't keep you on a reserve bench, but rather make you a star player. Yeah. So wait for that person. And like my wife said, the only relationship was sure. He said it appeared like the um the young us, your young court was was being restricted. It was being reserved. You see, some people, God have told them about their destiny. And let me help you guys. Some people don't know who their life partner will be. Let me, let me quickly help you now. God just tell them by how they will look. Hope you know, God wouldn't have, hope you know it was not being a virgin that made God choose Mary. 
Uh -huh. You do not know. No, being a virgin is part of it though. I did not say it's not part. But being a virgin is not why she was being chosen. It was because she was engaged to the right lineage. Let her be a virgin pro max. If she was not in that lineage, Joseph lineage, Judah lineage, there is no way they would choose her. Mm -mm. So you can't be, just stay reserved. Listen to me. Oh. Your person that God said he will come to you already know the spec. He's just sticking the things, sticking the things until the last one. Most times is when the last one is about to happen. Some of you will jump into something that is not your own. And like Mike Mudok said, there are at least five persons around you, not over you, around you, what, that are capable of lifting you. You have just not recognized them. And let me tell you the truth. People are watching you. You are the one thinking you are alone. You are being watched. Uh -uh. Have you not ever gone to somewhere and they say, ah, Eh, 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 yes, sir. He said, ah, how do you know my name? He said, ah, you. Ah, we used to see when you used to pass here. Yeah? Where do you see this? Ah, our glass is tinted. We, we, every person that passes here, we know them. People are looking at you. I'm telling you the truth. People are looking at you. You may say there is nothing. There is nothing. Every time, you are always entering Broad John's room. And then they send you to that environment to do evangelism. Only you are brojon. Only you are brojon. You can explain that you are doing prayer praying. <laughs> but the unbeliever knows what happened when a brother and a sister are opening and entering room. Opening and entering room. That's why the outside of your veranda, you see, silence cannot be misquoted. Outside the veranda, sit down. See, brojon say, no, the keyboard will not work well. Please, it will work here. Let's, let's, I will buy extension. You see, there's no socket. Me, I will buy extension and come. Because, People are watching you. Don't keep a nonsense track record in people's brain. People can assume a whole lot. Don't validate it and say, me, I don't care. I don't, me, my name is, I don't send people. Wow. <laughs> you need people in this life. Do we get that? Then number five, number four, fear of commitment. And then number five, selfishness. This especially from brothers. Yeah, brothers are leading you are very selfish. They use you, and then once that face is done, they forget about you. So please, don't be led on. You have the wisdom of, of a serpent. Have you been blessed or blessed? Yes. Number one again. Number one. Yes. Number two. Yes. Number three. Yes. Number four. Yes. Number five. Yes. I trust this people. Only Come on, celebrate yourself even as you have me celebrate, Papa. That's amazing. And I want so hard. Sorry, the please. Okay. Please project the question stuff so that they can start asking their question. Yes. And pass me over my phone, please. All right. Please, sorry about that. Hallelujah. So I want so hard to this. You may be led on. And the reason why you may be led on is because there is this thing called the stronghold of loneliness. You see that feel that you just want somebody. And it's like piggybacking off the first point that the feel to be loved. It's because you are lonely. Some persons have not have relationship with themselves enough. Is now having relationship with others you want to do. In, I've, I've forgotten the scripture now. You need to first have relationship with God. With yourself. Before you have relationship with others. Love your neighbor as yourself. Please, which one comes first? yourself you see that fear of ah hey, I, 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 I can't be lonely everybody around me is in a relationship i'm the only one that is i just let me just be in one even if it's not defined my dear sister you may be led on oh my dear brother you may be led on oh amen amen see <laughs> the cure to singleness is not loneliness the cure to loneliness is purpose maybe you didn't hear that the cure to singleness is never loneliness because a lot of persons get lonely in marriage. True. In fact, research has it. Because of my profession, we do research a lot. Research has it that 60% of married women are lonely. Mm. And purpose not found in your singleness may never be found while married. So this is, uh, I, I can't, see, I so much love me. I so much enjoy my company that. If I see another person, let's say the opposite is coming now, it's like be like an addition. So I don't need you 
to feel okay. I don't need you to feel valued. Only me, I'm a church, and with me is a precious service. True. You didn't get that. I so much love myself. I can never be bored. I've listened to Maverick City. From Maverick City, I do uh, maybe one page of TDJs. From one page of this, I'm just so loving myself. From one page of this, I feel like eating stir fry indomie. I do stir fry indomie. Amy Nekomoko, cross the leg, Moto Netflix. Are you not enjoying that kind of life? But some people cannot stay like that. And it is happening. If somebody has not called you, or you have not, that is a disease. Loneliness is not aloneness. Abi, you don't know. Loneliness is not aloneness. God wanted to test the, uh, Adam before he brought Eve to him. He wanted to test if it was a uh, it was a it was a issue of loneliness or aloneness. So he brought animals to him to see that uh-uh, if this guy cannot do a proper nomenclature of things, he might not be able to do a proper nomenclature of his life partner. True. So God brought animals. It's, it's, and <laughs> I love something. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank you. I, I'm not. I, I didn't know I was going to go here. You know, Scripture says He brought the animal to see. It means there's something in the mind of God. If I say, I bring you to see what you will make of this flower, it means that there is something I want you to make of this flower that is in line, in alignment with what I already saw. True. So, God brought animals, was parading, was parading. Ah! And God said, everything he named was it. Like, it already existed. It, God saw that this thing is lion. And then he said lion. Go so that this one is elephant. He said, ah, ah. as he said, okay, he said, ah, this one is jellyfish. Maybe he wants to make, ah, as he said, jellyfish. Goes, ah, ah, you are there. So there was an alignment already before he brought Eve to. Ah. Yeah, true, true. You see that need, and I'm facing ladies now because you see that thing. You think so, hey, somebody we get married to you is going to make you happy. If you not carry your happiness, I feel like standing on my way. I will. I'm not afraid yeah. of you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking. If you feel somebody will marry you, I'll be making you happy two four seven. Now lie you, mm. my dear sister. She be you are married. I lie, I be. I, I say true. Now I lie. You better carry as you are getting married. Carry your happiness from your from your from you being whole. I will soon get there. Single. In fact, if you have problem with this, you should get that the uh, that book. Be single and be useful. True. It's a total package. It talks about wholeness, uniqueness, and being separate. True. So is there something with being single? But I have I've seen, maybe because I counsel a lot of young ladies a lot. They will now come, hey, hey, like this. Before you know, you cannot stay here. You cannot say, my dear, I've advised somebody before. I say, leave this one, leave the other one, and just stay one year with yourself. It's not a disease. Yeah. It is not a disease. If you always have that fear of loneliness, hey, I cannot be alone, I cannot be alone, you will be let on. You will. And yeah. I'm not I'm not you in Jesus' name, but I'm not I'm not cursing. I'm just saying, I'm not telling you the reality. You will. Please love yourself. Love me. Ah, I love me some shade. Mm. I'm calling my I oh Jesus, I love me. The reason why I got married is not because I'm lonely. Yeah. Because I know that there is a purpose for which our togetherness ought to achieve for the kingdom. That's why I get married. It's True. not because his happiness is, is, uh, my happiness is dependent on him. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not. I can do, you don't know some people cannot do 12 hours retreat. Hmm. I can do what you see 12 hours. I know really, if you are in my life, you are an addition. It's not like you are the main True. ingredient. True. You are not, I want to cook jollof rice. You are not the rice. I'm the rice. You are the curry. Yeah. True, true, true. Bless or bless. <laughs> I can sit down with this. You see, when it comes to having a healthy esteem of yourself, Jesus, I think is one of the best gifts God gave me, Heli. Yeah. I don't have issue with it. True. I told you, I said, I'm a church, and with me is a blessed service. Only me, I'm the chorister, I'm the drummer, 
If I'm alone, I'm not thinking about anybody. You know, call me. If I even me, I don't call you. I'm called already. I call myself. Yeah. Go call me. Go call me. If you are not in a relationship, new. Yes. I mean, I, yes, I'm a church. I'm a church. Oh, if you are in a relationship and yes. you are not calling the yes, brother, sir, yes, you are sir. not mature. I love the balance. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Because, yeah. oh, maybe because of the concept of what we are talking about, it yeah. led me on. It's like people that find themselves in a situation they don't even understand. That's why we are talking this way. True. Please love yourself. I beg you. I feel like kneeling down. Hey, Joe, love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love your life. Enjoy your singleness on your way to getting married. True. Loneliness is not the pop, it's not the cure for singleness. <laughs> <laughs> loneliness. Hey, being married is not the pop, it's not the cure for being single. I've for being lonely. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. Please love <laughs> I'm telling you the way it is in me. Please love yourself. That's just the length and breadth of it. Love yourself. If you don't love yourself, in fact, how will you be able to know when somebody is spelling love to you? Yeah. Because me loving myself is to talk about my values, is to talk about my worth, talk about my identity in Christ, talk about my boundary. So when I see somebody that is not speaking that language to me, not speaking that dynamics, I will be able to pick. But if you don't have that first relationship with yourself, and this is and that's why I love the I love the ladder. God, yourself, you get your idea, you download it to yourself. It creates something in you. So that when others are coming, they are coming to me something. True. Amen. Were you blessed or blessed? blessed? Let's go to the next thing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How to tell? <laughs> Adjust your seat now. Adjust it. Because you're about to move to gear what? Yeah, five. We're about to accelerate. How to tell if someone is being led on? Signs that you are being led on. You are the one telling us. Pa Pastor called you. He said the other time that I saw you, he said no. N now me, I will tell you that these are the signs that you are being led on. You may not know. You may not know. And don't, don't, don't worry. Because we have become your eyes now, I will be able to, to tell you. Signs that you are being led on. You may not know what you are hearing, but please, how many signs do we have here, Safe? Maybe about four or five, but just follow. Number one is that you are in an undefined relationship. And don't run away yet. I will, I will read something I wrote here. We must understand that a romantic relationship happens upon where two persons, a man and a woman. I need to put it because of what Papa said. Because now we don't even know a man, and a woman, a girl, and a boy. We have to put it. A romantic relationship, at least when it comes to um, this kingdom that we have, a romantic relationship happens upon where two persons, a man and a woman, amen, amen. verbally make a commitment to each other. That verbally underline it, change the, change the cap, increase it, increase the font. Verbally. I put verbally there. That they are calling you every five, five minutes. Mm. You speak to the dad, you speak to the mom, you know the sibling, you even know their hometown. Yeah. They put you as their screensaver. In fact, on your birthday, you are like bead. It is not a validation that you are in a relationship. True. If it has never been verbalized that will you marry me? Or uh, 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 I love you. Can we just enter a courtship or enter yeah. a relationship? If they have not opened their mouth to say it, whatsoever you are in that may be looking like it is not it. Yeah. It's not it, oh. Because this is the reason why this is, these are the signs. If you are in something that they are not, they did not define at all, they don't put a title on it, no name on it, you are already in a situation. Already, although you are in a ship. But that mm. ship is, is not it's correlation. It's not relational. ship. Amen, amen, amen. I'm not the Lord of, Lord of rhymes. Papa is. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen. So, that they are calling you, my dear sister, it's not enough. Oh. They use all the emojis for you. Mm. They use the a voice for you. The sweet nothings for you. It is not that you are in a relationship. And I, for people that listen to PK a lot, he said um, he has um, two, two, um, two members in his church. 
that the guy saw a lady and said, okay, uh, I want to date you. And then they dated for 10 years. Oh, yeah, and at the dating. end of 10 years, he served the lady the certificate of being outdated. You have been dated and checked, and now you are outdated. outdated. Ah, yeah. Only that, the guy didn't stop there. I mean, 10 years old, 10 years old, 10. You to look at 10 years That's ago. That's someone's life. Yes. This one is not for Buo. You can go and listen to PK's story very well. He's in his church. The guy did it again for another sister, 10 years. He served to turn up. Uh-uh. Yes, yes, sir. 20 years, two different ladies. And because he has all the time I'm in the dream, you. to his side. He said that, that that's why you should listen to what they are saying. I, that was why I said verbally. You understand that underline that verbally. They have not said it to you. The guy said, I didn't do anything wrong. I told her that we should go on a date. Hmm. I didn't commit anything. Wow. So in the line, one year, two years, three years, four years, you don't have the courage to ask that brother, kill and she. Because they are buying shawarma for you, they are buying clothes for you. It's called, it doesn't mean that they love you. It doesn't mean they want to marry you. Yeah. Now that you are outdated, now they um, date please, you, but you I are think, outdated. I think. Let me add this very quickly, especially to ladies. I think I heard this from um, Pastor Timmy. It blessed me. Uh, was he still the one or some that was talking about a goat, a goat that was being kept, and then the other one think, ah, you, they kept you. We, we are free. Nobody is restricting us. We move around. And then Yahoo boys also were coming back from party. And I'm like, ah, Henry. Obviously, no, Henry. Yeah, should go. Yeah. <laughs> and they carry the goat because the goat is not being protected. Let me help you guys. See, number one, when you give your life to Christ, that is very good. The second thing you should do is please submit your life first under tutelage. Somebody that can tell you things is good. If you are fine with same says, which we always recommend. Please, look for your pastor in your church. Anyway, look for somebody to submit your life to. One. Number two, when you start going out, if the person cannot come and see your spiritual head, yeah. that person is a coconut head. I'm telling you, run. Tell him that, ah, my pastor would love to see you. And if they bring them to me, by the time I finish answering questions, he will, he, from there, you will say the relationship is over. No, I'm not joking. Even my wife, my wife knows. When it comes to questions, you say, I'm not there. I was not there. I just told you. Because by the time I finish asking you questions, I will know your intent. Yeah. 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 One of the questions I used to ask is when? This thing you are doing now, you know she's yeah. in 200 level. Yeah. When? When? You, where are you working? She said, eh, eh, I'm just, you're just what? Now, I'm not doing as if we want to fight. Cover. All the questions I'm asking him, me, I'm just here. Yeah, anything he says, it makes sense to me. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's just the jinkuzi that they are leading on that I will have to talk to. <laughs> I say, my sister, if you love your life, this thing is premium test. And most times, you see, I have even stopped that one. I will ask the person to go and pray for us. Pray very well. Do retreat seven days. Pray, come back. You come back and say, ah, he's still the one. God show me and told them, ah. I need to do another retreat. God show me and told them, they will not say this. Because there was one scripture, you see, is I don't like coloring things. You see, it's good you hate me for telling you the truth. But later on, when you look back, you will thank me. That, ah, he said it, he was not even afraid of me. Because I saw, found one scripture, I, I'm not that scripture now. He said that people will go back later to hate the person that gave them flattery. In Proverbs, he said, if you give the person, if, we, if they look back, they will hate you later on. So it's better, listen to me, please, if, if you're a sister, see, submit this thing to him. <laughs> submit this thing to someone. When the guy comes, he's doing up and down, you have cooked, you have washed clothes, you are, you are, you are, you, the next intention for this se section is that you want to migrate to on this. You have washed clothes enough, lab coat, everything, you have washed it. You, you don't even have a coat too, but you wash Every time you are washing, you have left a full-time student. You are now a full rented housewife. <laughs> a performing wifely duties. So please, these things we are stressing is because this thing is called, there are some jinkuzis that are, that, are, that, are, that are born again. And they do it on purpose, except that their whole life did not leave them. Yeah. 
hope you know that sometimes some of this story they share of this person, he did this one, uh, he did this one when he was in the world, and then the guy still as a pastor may still be doing it. Mm-hmm. And do you know the irony? He will preach everyone down. He would do like this, everybody will fall. It's anointing or not drug. Anointing. Because the Bible says in Proverbs, Romans, it says the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. Hope you know that Saul was sitting down on the throne for almost 13 years. But 13 years ago, he ceased from being a king. He was still making decisions as the king of Israel. But in God's account, he was not a king. The real king was in the desert, roaming around. <laughs> Roaming around. So most times, if you, if for any reason they hop this fan now, it goes in the blow. Yeah. Depending on the speed it's coming from. Yeah. If he's running on a slow speed, by the time he's he just like, but if that guy's on, I've been on high speed for almost five minutes, that thing will still be rolling. You still think there's power supply there. So there are some people that they, they give their life to Christ today, they collect it. They give their life to Christ they, are not, they don't even know what they are doing too. And yet you see them in church performing. I see they are reading performing art. And that is why several in my wife have often said it. You see, any day, any time, choose the fruit of the spirit over gifting. You say, ah, ah, and Papa, you pray a lot too. Except that when we are together, when he's angry, he can slap me. That is when he doesn't use iron. Ah, that gift is still there. You see, that guy is heavy. He's like something. I will wake up like before. I will wake up like before. Until there was no before again. And that time, if you are married to him, you will join him. Yeah. Yeah. The consequences, because anytime I read consequences in the Bible, that, those guys that say they should push that down there into the lion's den, they went to pick their children. Mm-hmm. The children were not this one supporting. Yeah. Her man, her man that was saying, well, yeah, I'm going to kill Mordecai. When they wanted to kill him, they also called the wife. Yeah. And the children, they hang all of them. What, did, what concerned the children? And I don't know what concerned the children. When parents make decisions, when, especially when authorities make decisions, they make it either consciously or unconsciously on behalf of the subordinates too. Yeah. Because those guys that say, stone him, stone him, stone him. Pilate said that, he, this guy, he washed his hand, he said his blood, no, he said, let it be on us and our children. The children were not there. And yet he said, the blood, let it be on us and our children. The children were not there. He, why did you inform the children? But another thing I want to tell you guys is that just like Abraham, who pay, uh, just like Levi, could pay tight in Abraham's loins. People, they pay things in people's loins too. So that's why you should choose the head you are submitting yourself to correctly. And I will stress it again. If you're a lady, you have given your life to Christ, then nobody is trying to control your life. Get, <laughs> see, the tears that you will cry is, <laughs> don't use your life as a template for correction. A template for wrong correction. You say, do you remember BC? You say, I remember BC. Because Jesus, Said in the book of Luke, he said, Remember Lot's wife. That was not a good remembrance. It's a, it's a correctional measure. And that, oh, you know, that was one of the shortest verse, too. Yes. Just remember Lot's wife. Exclamation mark. Hold it down. This was Jesus talking here. That was a full sermon. Remember Lot's wife. How many of you don't remember Lot's wife now? That's how they can say, Remember, remember this person. Remember this person. This was Jesus talking. Remember Lot's wife. That was the sermon. So, if you're a lady, don't go and test your life around. You are perceiving signal. And then the reason why I'm jumping ahead of our time is called my, our time. We now have the time to go through our points. One of the reasons why I, one of the reasons why we are stressing all of this is that because we say set boundary, set whatever, set boundary. That doesn't mean that every brother that shows care, you say, what are we doing in this relationship? Uh-uh. They brought Shawama for you. Say, what are we doing now? They, what are we doing now? This Shawama is for what now? Because now I don't want to be a leader. You, I think this is this is the balance to test if somebody is leading you on. You cannot you cannot just um, pop the conversation upon the time that they ask you. Like yeah. okay, they are showing care, they are showing attention. But anything that is more than that is consistent. For let's say two to three months, yeah. six months is even too much. Yeah. One year out of you. Let's say at at least I be at least at most. Mm. Thank you, ma. At most three months, they are consistent. Consistent with two two hours call every day. Yeah. Changing Consi- GDP to cons- your face. Consistent with putting you on your social like you know that this thing has maybe I didn't define it's getting a toll I didn't, on you. I didn't define the situationship. Situationship is the kind of relationship that is 
a bit higher than friendship yeah. and in between a romantic relationship. Yeah. That is situationship. Yeah. So if you know this thing has passed the boundary of, ah, this is like, oh, the past, the normal, like what normal friends will do. This is like tilting towards what's romantic. I think once it's been consistent out. like that, in three months, please, ask the question. Okay, sir, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Isn't that ask your question? Yes, yeah. I wanted to come in. Because I know we, we, we have it to talk about. You see, sometimes you may not be the one to ask the question directly. I, I, that's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. You true, may go and see a superior, a counselor, somebody you are submitted to. I say, ah, this brother has been coming. He has been buying me flowers. So every month, every important thing in my life, he buy flowers for me. And I think I've started having feelings towards him. You have not told him. So you won't be part of the record of his jinkuzi. Yeah, so the, a superior person that because you must be vulnerable to whoever you choose as your mentor. If you are not, they are telling you they have said that your brain has gone. You say no, I'm intact. Except that when the brother show wedding card, we just discovered that you stop, you stop coming to church. You are getting emaciated all of a sudden, just by a wedding card. And you said there was nothing attached. We saw all this signal. We saw red flag. We saw red bandana. Yeah. We saw red canopy. Everything we saw except you. You are seeing white everywhere. <laughs> because signal, these things are, this is, is a psychology. It can be red. We can see this thing. That, yeah. The way you are doing like this, you are doing like this. Naturally, even in the presence of God, you don't do that. You are almost like Mozart that cannot be shaken when you are singing. When, when they are singing in church. But once brother call you, you become like a Giroko that we breeze is blowing. <laughs> it can be it's written everywhere. So what will happen is that choose somebody you can be vulnerable to. See, vulnerability, it, it saves you from, from brutality. Yeah. It saves you from a lot of things. Yeah. You are vulnerable enough. Take for instance, when the person we submit to is opposed to me, well, anything that happened in this place, I may look like a strong man here, but every opportunity I have, see, one of the reasons why you will know you are taking advantage of your mentorship and mentee, whatever it is, every time you show up, you always have questions. You see, by the time you feel that you have known it, you have grown enough, you are going. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. By the time they ask you that, is the guy, his son, is there to say, Daddy, we, we just bought light. Yeah. Yeah, we just bought. You, it means that you are not growing. Yeah. yeah, you are not growing. Because just like um, Abad said, he said that if what you did yesterday is still as big today as anything, you have not done much today. You haven't even done anything today. So most times there are, you see, that one too is a face. You see, when you are not growing, everything will be okay. Yeah. I'm telling you, you won't see challenge. When you are not growing, one of the feedback that are not also growing is that there is no challenge, nothing, everything is fine. Everything is just fine. A sign of growth is that there will go to be a demand on your brain and your knowledge that is beyond you. Yes, sir. So you have to consult somebody and say, ah, hey, Joe, naturally, you be that in ball. I'm on rent here and tell you, ah, I can see plenty of things. Now, we just discovered that this one is stop working with, you have to fix it. This one stopped, that the plea, Joe Baba. What I was supposed to do is say, ah, I was waiting for that question. And truly, your people that are ahead of you, they know questions that you should ask that they are waiting for you to ask. Yeah. Hmm. They will not give you an answer for. Hmm. So, when it comes to relationship matters, when it, you have to have somebody in your life, they are vulnerable enough for that I've started liking this person. Or, ah, no, this brother is asking me out. Ah, what is happening? What should I do? They will be able to tell you. God, sometimes God, most times, puts your, info, your hands in their mouth. They will be able to tell you, oh, no, don't do this. Don't, hey, premium test, hey, don't try it. This one, don't try it. Ah, I've been cooking for him. <laughs> if you have somebody that you respect a whole lot, will you be comfortable enough to go and tell him those things you are doing to your brother? Yeah, now that you they say we are meeting, she say, ah, Daddy, I have testimony. Say, give it, eat me, <laughs> eat me with the revelation. He say, Ah, Daddy, I've been cooking for Bro John. I, 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 I used to wash his clothes, and then as this semester I want to begin now, I, I want to migrate, I want to upgrade the part of the righteousness is brighter and brighter. <laughs> I want to take it a bit further. I want to start washing his on this. Wow. <laughs> Anything you cannot tell somebody that you say you honor and they will commend you for, you have formatted your brain. Yes, sir. Oh, the thing is going. Yes, sir. Things that you do in secret, 
that you can't or just imagine for a while that as you are making that call, they were standing behind you. All those things are saying that eh, you know that I don't like it, I don't like it. We are let's do video call, let's do the video call. Eh, we are um, there's no light here now, we are on light. The way you are on light, the pastor is here. I'm saying, wow, anything you cannot do that people you honor, you claim you honor, cannot see you and see you doing it comfortably. My brother, you need it. You should be vulnerable enough for that. And something about sin, just like I was telling my people, sin does not come on you. Sin knocks. You see, just like Jesus knocks before he enter your heart, sin will have been knocking two years ago. But you say that it may mean Jim Kuzi, nothing can happen until sin enter and open the door. It happened to Samson. Sin was knocking seven times until sin said, Hey, who? Hey, Jacob, call you, you. Call down his ear. Call down his strength. Not you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let me help you. Once you submit yourself to someone that you respect and honor, that can call you to order, I think many mistakes in your life, you will not have made them. You won't have made them. Bless or bless. bless Please, if you have questions, you can send in your questions. From what we are from what we are seeing here, I don't think we are seeing any question. Okay, a lot, what, from what I'm hearing now is that people cannot send questions. Right? Eh? Sorry. Please give me some minutes. Can you pass on me? Yes, please continue. Hallelujah. So while we wait for that, I think I'll just continue with the signs. To show that you have been led on. The first one is what? If you are following. Undefined relationship. The number two is lack of boundary. <laughs> you lack boundaries. You lack boundaries. And I would like to read from here because this blessed me so much. Say there is such a thing as value of boundaries. Val okay. Value of boundaries, sorry. Boundaries don't make you look old-fashioned. It shows that you value yourself. It all comes down to having a self-esteem of yourself. Everybody should not just have access to you. Have access to your body. Have access to your time. Do you know that I've seen in church? I will still bring it to church because I've seen a lot in church. Somebody wants to greet you and they say, eh, Sister Lois, how are you? And then you are okay. Like you are okay with being taught. Except you want to lie for me now. I they see. Or somebody wants to, uh, I love this. I love this, your clothes. Oh, wow. I mean opposite sex. What happy you have not seen? Am I lying? If I'm not, am I lying? Say, oh, I love this, your new head draw. Why? It shows you lack boundary. That's the sign oh, that you have been led on. And the one thing is because, see, as women, we are emotional feelers. Forget it. If somebody... <laughs> Maybe if an opposite sex comes now and I say, let's say, let's take for instance, I don't have boundary. Now I comes and I say, ah, wow, I love this. I love this bulb. I love this air. Uh, wow. From my heart over, in my soul, in my soul, I was like, wow. Wow. I'm feeling a kind of, ah, I'm feeling this compliment. is reaching me down in my kidney. I'm telling you, if kidney is here, it's reaching my bottomness. Well, somebody that lacks boundary won't take that as a compliment at all. That is not. Or somebody comes and now shake you. Ah, hello, sister. Sister Lois, how are you? Well done. Wow. Ah, ah, I love this, your new, new, uh, I love this, your the man, uh, manicure. I don't do it, so I don't know. Nail. I love this, your new nail. They're yes. not like, 
Hey, you know, say yes. Thank you. You're holding the hand. For <laughs> what? Why? You lack boundary. Yeah. You lack boundary. True. No, I can't. You can't have access to my time. Like, you, okay, you call me now. You say, uh, you're not like you're not talking. How are you? Have you have you eaten? Have you for two hours? You don't have boundary. Yeah. Because yeah, if you do, if time. you do, you like ah wow, um, brother Shola, I'm so sorry. There's something I should be doing now. Can I? But if you are enjoying it, you are there. You lack boundary. Are you seeing the sign now? So if you are you are on if you are on that you are on that table, you know that you are being led on. Yeah. So see what I wrote here will bless you. So let me just. <laughs> sorry. So I say everybody should not have access to your time and body. Some even call you pet names. Abi, we are not seen in church. Baby, what's up now? Baby. You are not in a relationship. They are calling you baby. Hmm. They are calling you sweet. No, now. Oh, yeah. I need to see. I need to stand up so that we are to get down. Oh, raise your head. Some people are ready by. Raise it. Let's see our face. They are calling you sweetheart. They are calling you babe. Give me another one. My love. Yeah, thank you, ma. My love. My baby. Ah. You she. Ah, and you are good with it. You know that's one of the reasons I said the, the the need to be the need to feel love is a need. Everybody wants it, but when you lack boundary, when you lack boundary, it's not healthy for you at all. True. It's an unhealthy place to be. Unhealthy place to be. You cannot be touching me anywhere. You cannot be calling me two four seven. We're not doing anything. We ask you. She they should not have access to your time and your body. I'm yeah. saying it's your body. I'm saying in church. Because you have seen yourself for long. Hey, brother, balloon. They now go like. And carry. Yeah, oh, carry. You spin you like this. Hmm. I know you cannot laugh because you know it's happening. I know. But you know it's happening. They hug you like this for 20 seconds. If my husband hugs me like that, the next thing is I'm going to peck him. Hmm. Yes. So tell you, see, we said this. When you got born again, it is not your soul that got born again. It is your spirit that got regenerated. True. Amen, amen. Amen. And when this feeling, hey, we have the mind of Christ, because that's the only thing they always say, ah, mm. I have the only spirit. It's nothing, it's nothing. Mm. They don't suspend my brain. Yeah. They don't suspend my brain. I'm telling you as the pastor's wife, if somebody hugged me like that for 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 10, 10. I'm, I'm not saying side hug. Full hug, frontal hug. You go feel something. But it's happening in church. You hmm. lack boundary. Yeah. Said boundary. You lack boundary. And it all starts. Since then, I thought I told Papa, I said, the sum of all these things from the beginning, that's in both. So the least thing that we, last thing that we'll talk about tonight, it all boils down to boundary. Yeah. Because if you have boundary, you have value for yourself. Anybody that is coming will come to meet that boundary. Sure. But if your boundary is loose and porous, is boundless. Anybody mm. can enter. True. Anybody can breach it. Anybody can break it. Very true. You touch my hair for what? Why? No, no, I'm not saying somebody now comes. Let's say the person doesn't know. I know, I know some people like that. Especially if you don't have, I know people that don't have ladies growing up around them. Any lady they see, they like sisters. It's the same thing with me. I don't have sister around me. So any brother that I see, it's like that. My brother. Amen, amen. Amen. So if you that have boundary, let's say for let's say for instance, the person doesn't know, and the person comes and say, Oh wow, I love this hair. I say, Oh wow. Thank you, Brizek. Thank you. I thank you for the compliment, but I appreciate it. If you don't touch my hair in such manner, just say that you love my hair and I will appreciate it. Is it okay? No, it's nothing. You no, know, is it okay? Like you are not people go run away from you. Yeah. People go run away from you. I'm just giving you wisdom. So that they will know. Do you know that the next time the, the guy, they will the guy it. won't do it again and he will appreciate you. Yeah. When I when I mean kingdom brothers, they will appreciate you and respect you because you have boundaries. Yeah. Or oh, the person is calling you for long. I say, ah, I'm sorry, brother. Okay, it's just like one of the things I want to say. If you can if you cannot make an initiation for the conversation, that what are we doing here? Another thing is that boundary will help you. Yeah. Boundaries will help you. You don't need to talk. Maybe the person has been calling you for three, uh, for three hours, let's say for three months, and then maybe the next month, you just, the person is just trying to call you and the person cannot reach you. You are like setting boundary. 
The person is trying to come to your house. You know, I'm sorry. There's something I need to do at the time. The person will get the memo. Yeah. They will get the memo. Haven't you instigated the conversation? I'm telling you. But when there is no boundary, that's what I'm telling you. It all boils down to boundary. Uh, it all really boils down to boundary. boundaries. Touch you anyhow. Call you anyhow. Like any time. What was that? Let me just resolve we can run. Oh, my mama, where am I? Okay. So I said, don't feed off on the attention. Oh, there's something before that. Okay. Let me start from there. Don't feed off of the attention or signal you have been given. Some ladies always think because a lot of guys have access to me, it means I'm valuable. That mm. doesn't deter. It doesn't determine your worth in any way. You know that there's some people like that. Ha, I'm the one they are calling. I'm the one they are calling. It says that it shows that there's something with me. Now lie you. Mm. That they are giving you attention doesn't determine your worth in any way. In any way, in any way. So your value is not based on how much access people have to you. Have boundaries. You may be perceived rigid, but your life and destiny is worth that protection. Your life and destiny is worth that protection. There's something I don't know if I will if I will have time to say it. I just quickly want to differentiate between being friendly and being flirty. There's a thin line. There's a thin line in being friendly and being flirty. I don't know. Is there time for? I I should go. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hallelujah. Please, if you have questions, just send it because that is the last thing we are we are working on. Being friendly is not the same thing as being flirty, and I would define flirting like if you are being flirtatious. I would define it in just uh, this simple line. I say being flirty is to act as if you are attracted to someone, usually in a playful manner. Simple. Uh, what's the name? Dictionary can uh, dictionary can make it complex for you, but I'm giving you a simple. You acting. You are acting. How will I say it now? You are giving somebody an attention that you know you are attracted to the person, but you are trying to cover it. Cover it with being friendly. That is being flirty. Amen, amen. Amen. So flirting can be read in your body language. Hmm. And I will describe it now because everything we have to describe so that we will understand what we are saying. Yeah. Let's say, see brother Julius. Hi, my brother Julius. I say, how you doing? Oh, you're looking good. I love your let's just say jacket. I love your jacket. Oh, I love your beads. Wow. And I say, oh, I love your hair. So let's say you now touch my hair. And I say, no, stop it. <laughs> look at the mouth. Look at the body language. No correlation. Mm. This is what you are doing. No. 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 You are hearing no, but the action is yes. And what is this? If I'm not saying anything. What is this? This is yes. But yeah. you are saying no. No, stop it. And communicators say that. See, in everything you say, 55% is your body language. So your body language does more talking than what you are saying. Mm. Than what you are saying. It's happening in church. That's what I'm telling you. And I've said it in this insight. If I see anybody touching you unduly, if you don't get the boundary, I will help you, I will help you walk on one. Immediately. I will help you walk on one immediately. Touching you for what? Let brotherly love. Don't forget our anchor scripture. Is that how you will treat your sister? Or is that how you will want your sister to be treated? Mm. If you see somebody treating your sister like that, will you like it? Please sit down, sir. Will you like it? So still on being flirty. Maintaining the appropriate level of friendliness with the opposite sex is professionalism. I put appropriate in capital letter here. I told Papa. Yeah. maintaining the appropriate level there is something we call appropriation that's why i said uh, when i was talking the first time i said is your normal normal it's not everybody's normal that is normal there is a normal there is an acceptable normal in church if your normal has gone past the normal of what you do to all brethren there is something that is wrong you're being flirty true you're being flirty you're being flirty you bring food to everybody you not know, say ah all choir members here 
you call brother Gideon separate. You say, now nah, you are bringing for. What's that? What's that? Appropriate normal. Appropriate normal. Except you are in a relationship, of course. If you are in a relationship, and you shouldn't be doing that in secret. You are not in secret court. Amen, amen. And everybody is going to know. So if you are bringing, if you are Treating someone, putting someone in the place of exclusivity, that's one is, that one is understood. But you are not in anything. You are just bringing someone. That's, that's very, very wrong. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Yeah. So I said, maintaining the appropriate level of friendliness with the opposite sex is professionalism. This talks about the attitude, character, demeanor that is expected of you as a Christian. True. There is a behavior that is expected of you as a Christian, even as brothers and as sisters in church. It is expected of you that you greet people. Because all these things that we are saying, now I cannot see somebody tomorrow and say, ah, hey, I don't want to be flirty. Oh. I, know my, I know my inside people. I don't want to be flirty. No, no. You can be approachable and not be flirtatious. You can. You can. Sure. You can. Ah, I celebrate you, sir. How are you doing? Well done, sir. You're done. Oh, they ask you something. Oh, wow, I can do it. Wow, let me help you. Oh, well done. And it's not, it doesn't mean that you should see someone and not laugh. Ah, brother, so I celebrate you. Well done, sir. But when you're now trying to hide, trying to stay with somebody, trying to call, trying to, you know all those things that we do. It's, it's not right. True. It's not right. So I think, do we have a question now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do we get it? I do we understand that being friendly and being flirty now? I think my wife did an amazing job. Please come celebrate her. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, there are three reasons here we state why you should not entertain anything indefinite. Number one is you can develop an LD attachment. Number two, it can become an unnecessary distraction. Number three, it can block your blessing. I'm praying for May you know, enter into relationship, like, I didn't say relationship, like friendship or any kind of stuff, not even situationship. Like, may you not be friendly with someone that, that, that will be like a can to your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. That is a powerful prayer. May, but Amen. many of you, maybe you have not read the Bible, you don't even know where can. is. So, praise God. Akan was the one that allowed a small nation dis um, um, defeat Israel. Just a small nation by carrying something inside of him that Israel did not carry you. It was him that carried it. So you can be in a cycle that can be affecting you negatively. Yeah. I pray God will not permit that for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. All right, the only and one question we have here, which we are going to treat and then we'll pray, is this. Can... Is it can can a once sexual romantic relationship turn turn godly turn godly way leading to marriage if both partner are willing to do it the god way I mean devoid of sex this question is very very wide because i have a lot of questions to the question yeah to I ask for to clarity yeah because look at this how many of you have ever been in a relationship you are in a relationship because i think one one book you should get in case you are in a relationship and you always have a misunderstanding with your partner is communication and conflict resolution one of the things that happen in relationship is that after you, the two of you discuss about it, the guy will tell you it, it will never happen again. But you'll be surprised at why you are there. Maybe what's the bone of contention here is that he used to shout at you and you don't like it. And he say he has changed. That, and he apologized. Except that when you put chase, chose the next ad agenda, he was not happy with it. What he apologized about? You have not left the place. He just executed you again. And I say, oh, sorry, sorry, I will change, I will change. That is to tell you that the foundation upon which is, one possibility is that the foundation upon which he is saying it, it has not yet resonated very well with him to change him. Anything that has to do with change, one thing that you will expect is time. 
nobody can change overnight. It's an accumulated habit, 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 or accumulated whatever character, character everything just accumulated together to form what he became. So you cannot just remove it from him all of a sudden. So this is your that's why I have issue with the void of of sex. Because hope you know that I want to assume that when the two of you I want to assume that the two of you are godly. And when you enter into this relationship, I want to believe that you also mentioned that there won't be sex. And it happened anyway. So how can we be sure that it won't happen again? One book my wife wrote powerfully where I, I read it too is How to Emotionally Detach from an Ex or a Crush. And there's something she said powerfully, I like it. She said most time when she say leave your past, you think to your last. Past and last are not the same. One is recent. Yes, Another sir. one is ancient. The one that is ancient is the root cause. The recent one is who you are. What you have been breaking or breaking up, causing emotional, whatever. You have plenty of S's. But you are looking at the S's instead of looking at what must have mm -hmm. accumulated that is causing you to be having S's, 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 yes, only sir. you. And then she says something again that when it comes to that relationship too, when it comes to leaving your hair, sometimes what it will take a toll on, on you is that you remember memories. Those memories are reason. What you are having issue with is a person. So if you that are asking this question now are still willing to, to say no, there won't be sex. What about the other man? Person, Maybe be me too. What about the other person? So this question, I cannot answer it in the whole of it. I, 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 I am not God, number one. So I don't even know what led to the sexual sin. But that you even, but you know why I what led to it. And that's why I said most times your mentors or the people that are around you know more about you than the questions you ask us. So most times we are asking, we are answering the questions based on assumption that maybe this happened, maybe this happened. But if you don't hope you know that nobody kill a tree by cutting the branches. You want to kill a kid, you are cutting the branches. You yes, just sir. cut the branches. Mm -hmm. Cut the branches. That thing will grow again. Yes, sir. So you have to first go down to the root, to cause. The root cause. How are you able to break that boundary? One of the things I told my wife when we started our own courtship is I told her from onset. You know, most times when it comes to sexual drive, I want to believe all of us are, are, are adult enough. Yes, when it comes to sexual drive, the drive of ladies is not the same as guys. Yes, sir. It's much easier for a guy, and that's why you see, when they talk about slander, slander, sexual slander, it's most times it's the man of God they talk about. They don't talk about that woman of God came and raped me. Because the guy is ready any day. It's not a rape to him. He's like, ah, when next are you coming? You know, and the lady is feeling that she's forcing herself on him. He's not a force. I'm telling you. So when it comes to sexual, and that's why when it comes to these boundaries, brothers, I am telling you guys, if your future is going to go far, mm -hmm. you see, set boundaries. All this, because the other my wife say they walk you, they carry you like this. You are feeling like, are we in deeper life? My brother, we are in deeper life. Mm -hmm. Abiyo, life that is deep. There is no old school in Christianity, in holiness. So. Something is a weakness you are playing. Ten years you left in Sere. Devil you are playing with. No matter how beautiful a snake is, still a snake. In fact, in my opinion, the most beautiful snake is the most dangerous. Because you know, you say, ah, it's a toy, it's a toy. The A, Jinkuzi. So, these things we are, this thing we are talking about, if you don't know the root cause, that is, what exactly is leading to this sexual, whatever, and that's why I'm saying, submit yourself to someone you can be vulnerable to, that can help you. Because that, that boundary that you are able to, to, to engage in that, I think the first thing after you repent to God, is to show up in front of your mentor or whoever spiritual father anyone is and let him know this is what happened. Sir, I do it by me. This is what happened. This is what has happened. How can we come out of this? And then sincerely, by the person asking you a question, he can know the cause. Yeah, he can know how, how you got there. So most times they will not put painful boundaries for you. Painful ones. 
painful boundaries. And just like I was saying, one thing I told my wife as a measure of boundary, because God told me early in, in life, he said, if you sleep with any lady that is not your wife, you will die. And like I said, it's not like I will fall down like this, and die. No. It just means that the purposes of God for my life will be truncated. And he used Joseph as a case study. Seven lessons I learned from Joseph's life that he will have missed if he had slept with Potiphar's wife. Hope you know that Potiphar's wife did not, in recent, did not like Joseph. Mm -hmm. To have come up that lie. That led him to prison. And she didn't even check on him in the prison. And yes, she cannot do without him. She cannot do without him. She cannot do without him. Now, this guy is in prison. She did not check on him. She forgot him there. And yet, his love. So, most times, the things that you think is love around, if you check the intent of it, you know that there is nothing lovely about it. That thing is a nouveau. You know, it's a nothing. Oh, you know, how many of you have seen beans that we were eating everything? It still looks like beans until you cook it. You are going to be an incenticide. You know, you are going to be eating inside. So, some things are just quoted. They look like it is it. It is not. It is not. Like today, I was immersely asking my wife, and then she gave me reasons that I think is okay by me because I ask question a lot. I just speak gum because I was feeling sleepy when I was driving and coming. So, I have gum in my car. It keeps me away from sleep. But my own concern was that as I pick one of it and put it in my mouth, I just discovered that I was eating 200 naira, one gum. So I was telling her that, okay, why did they even coat gums? Why did they sugar coat it? Since when the end result of it is that it should not be sugary. When you finish eating gum, you won't feel the sugary part again. If you're a baby, you throw it away and carry it under sugar. So my uncle said, like, why is this in sugary? And the point she gave was reasonable to me. No, but like, okay. So because I did human physiology and part of the thing we did was pharmacology. There is the way they coat drugs. And when they coat drugs, the potent of the drug is really inside. But they coat it most times for baby to be able to absorb it and maybe taste whatever. And then the other reason is for the digestive tract. Because you have all manner of juices, 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 if the thing gets into your stomach. So the thing is being coated. When the digestive tract is acting upon it, the real potent will not be eroded part of the thing that is going inside your stomach where your bloodstream will need it. We're on the same page. So most times you should ask questions. When you ask questions beyond what the person is saying, I think you will receive the right intention. So what I told my wife is, I can't trust myself 100%. You can't be carrying five babes like this up and down for seven years. So I told her, this was what I, what did I tell you? For, okay, she says, okay, the previous award you have, seven years. Okay, my own sis. Because my wife was in a relationship for seven years. She did MBA, BS, and did house job and served. So, <laughs> praise God. Yeah, today is not a day. So, one of the things I told her from onset is this. I said, listen to me. For any reason, if I sleep with you before we marry, I am not going to marry you. If for any reason, if it happens, let me say it ahead. I will not marry you and you are going to be a devil. That's, 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 I did not tell her I was going to die. But me, I know I would die. I have often said it. You see, it's because you don't know who you are. You don't know your worth sometimes. And that's why you feel that you want to do, you want to be playing with sin. Listen to me. Just imagine that you are on, on fire. You want to have this sex. And immediately, you have the gift of the spirit. You can see who is having HIV. And then as you are doing like this, you are doing like this. You just saw HIV, HIV, red, big one. Hope you know that is enough motivation to calm you down. And that God is not that important. Yeah. Because every time you are tempted, God will create a way out. But most times it's not important. He say, you will forgive me again. He will forgive you. But what are all the things you are missing? So when it comes to boundaries, it's not, it's not comfortable boundary. It's painful one. I have one scripture I gave to my, my leaders. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 21. He said, we take the pain upon ourselves to do the right thing. NIV. We take the pain upon ourselves to do the right thing. He said, for we are taking pains to do what is right, not only in the eyes of the Lord, but also in the eyes of men. Are you taking pain enough to do what is right? 
So this question, there is no way I can answer it holistically than to just pick a part of it that I think I understand. It can work if truly there are people to help you work it. But if the two of you, because I want to assume that you set boundary before you did that once. If you did that decision alone, especially that Jim Kuzi brother, if that is his first time, he will have desire for more. He will have desire for more. He's, and you see, when it comes to sexual sin, there is a spirit assessing it. Take it from somebody that I've masturbated before. You know, I was the one that started the masturbation. When I wanted to stop, another spirit helped me that I could not stop again. Something I started. Why can't I stop? That is something addition does. If you do anything consistently, a spirit will help you. Either the spirit of God or the other spirit. Because how many of you have ever set alarm for your prayer and then maybe that day your phone died? Five minutes to the time, the Holy Spirit will wake you. Because it's something that has been consistent with this same thing. Anything that is consistent, a spirit come and sit on it to make sure it continues. So this thing is not something that is, you can joke with. It's destiny matter. I think look for a counselor if you don't have one. Look for a mentor, the two of you, and then who do you submit the relationship to yourself? If you have submitted the relationship to someone, the two of you just carry yourself and lie down. On the, uh, please help us. We have taught the forbidden fruit. And then they can set a painful boundary for you. And for sisters, please let me help you. If they say, let's keep this thing secret, let's keep this thing secret, my brother, they have just initiated you, my sister rather. You have been initiated to a secret court. Let's keep it secret. Now, don't hear what I'm not saying. There is private. There is secret. I'm not saying that now. Let's keep it secret. Let's keep it secret. The, you know, say, no, no, they have, I had it. In, it led me on. I'm going to go and post it on social media. No. You are, you, you, are, you, are not, you are not respecting privacy. Secret means that the people that are supposed to know, number one, your spiritual parents or, your, or wherever you hold the highest thing, you can't keep it as a secret from them. They are the one that can help you. But when it comes to private, you have to keep it from the, from, from, the, from the public. That is private. You are keeping your relationship private. It helps you. It helps you so that if for anything it didn't work, everybody will carry waiting is left and go to the next one. But now, two months, you say, let's go and throw ourselves to church. When I will marry in seven years' time, why are we showing ourselves to church? Do we get this? So don't hear what I'm not saying, no. But I just want to believe that the Holy Spirit has helped you and filter what is not correct and give you the right information. Bless or bless? Abby, you have something? To... All right. So as we are clapping, you see, something about prayers is that, just like I said, there can be eight cans that, that are, one of the things I said is that one of the reasons why you should not be in anything that is not definite is that, number one, it's, can put it can give you an unhealthy attachment. Number two, or don't allow me even go to number two. Let me go to number three first. Is that it can block your blessing. So this teaching we are doing is such that your blessing is not being blocked. Yeah, your blessing is not being blocked, especially if you are not married or in a relationship. But do you know the irony? Even married people lead people on. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. There is something we call emotional feeling. Like, there are people that are emotional feelers. When their husband is not available, yeah. you go and remember that guy and start chatting. Again, they use some chatting. people as rebound. Yeah, as, as rebound. You'll be rebounding on the person. It happens. And you'll be single. And they are using you to do rebound. They are not talking to your wife at home. They are chatting with you at 2 a.m. So you are just available for, for, for nonsense. No, that will not be you. There are so much that I would have loved us to pray for. Pray about rather. But I am so sure that if you pray in the spirit, the Bible says in Corinthians, Corinthians 14, 14, he said, he that pray in our known tongues, he said, his spirit pray, his understanding is unfruitful. In just a few minutes, can we just be understanding because our time is fast spent? I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost as heavy, as strongly, as powerfully, as 
Renaka Barata Kosat Haliante Yegada Bosuzaniata Ranaka Barada Nakosha Legadabaha Emano Satali Gede Sabrakatosuza Enika Tosa Namanga Radabaha Ebrakatosuzalia Gadabahanti Eraba Baba Baba Basha Balagada Dogs Esana Mante Yagaradabaha E Carado Satan Just few seconds Emana Cabranica Tosa Sana nante ya galagada, araba kau sana mampra gadisha, meka sala gaya nama ha, eraga talia tosa, ema kau sana malagada maha, ekrena kau sobranda ya kata lida ho sana ha, erada da 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 ba ya galaga dosa, eka baraga talida, eraka tosa talagada ma, araba ba ba raga da da dosa na mampra lida tosa, eila kaya Romans 8 fully our longings. Yet he understands the desires of the Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit passionately pleased before God for us. He is his only one in perfect harmony with God's plan and our destiny. So as you are praying in tongues now, the Lord's plan is the Lord's plan. He is the Lord's plan. And he is the Lord's plan. Ebreka 
person that may want to affect him in my marital journey. This grace that brings salvation, it teaches us, it gives us strength, it gives us grace to say no to every appearance of ungodliness. Jesus, yes, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Can we do one more thing? I just had in my spirit. We want to break soul ties. I don't break soul ties. I don't know what that means. I just had this. We want to break soul ties. Somebody's here, maybe two, maybe three, but I'm sure of one. You are in this fix, and it's so difficult. It's like a stronghold. It's so difficult for you to break off. You have had this before. They have told you. Perhaps you have sold. Perhaps you have given body. Let me just put it that way. Perhaps you have given body. And it's very difficult for you to leave. But in your heart of heart, you know. I want us to pray for this one person or maybe two. Everybody, if you have the spirit of God, can we pray for this person? We break the song God of soul ties. In the name of Jesus. Every stronghold that has affected your life, keeping you in this fix, will break it now. In the name of Jesus, we break the yoke of soul ties. We break the yoke of soul ties tonight. In the name of Jesus, lose him and let him go. Lose her and let her go. In the name of Jesus. That's the lie of the devil to keep you in a fix uh, that will affect your marital journey and destiny. Uh, but by the Spirit, uh, it has been revealed. Uh, for God reveals to redeem tonight every yoke, uh, every yoke of soul ties uh, is broken in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whosoever that is, perhaps you didn't hear what we were praying. You are not your mistake. Still, regardless of what happens, your future, your brighter future is still ahead. It's not in your past. You are not your mistake. I don't know what has happened in that situation you find yourself or in that fix you find yourself. You are not your mistake. Move on. God has forgiven you. Move on. Move on. Move on. Grace is released. Grace is released to break off. 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 And God is going to use you strong and mighty because you are about to ask. You are about to ask. You are about to ask in the hand of the Lord. Us hear the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The devil is a bastard. The devil is a bastard. Whatsoever is keeping, whatsoever is putting you into, it's not you. It's not you. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. And God is going to use you mightily, 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 because you're about to act. I heard again, you're about to act. You are a battle act. So move on. Receive that grace to break out. You are helped of the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Glory to God. Have we been blessed or blessed?